This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 51, verse 7. Babylon hath been a golden cup in the Lord's hand that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 7. Shalom. I want to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to our venerable apostles and elders at Great Millstone who rule well, and peace and blessings to the Lord's elect, the house of David. All right, so Brother Haran coming back at you with another lesson. Lo, will and be edifying and uplifting unto the elect. All right, and um, I have an article here I just wanted to go into real quick. Uh, this is dated yesterday, March 1st. Okay, and um, it's all going into end time biblical prophecies. Okay, basically the end time prophecies are are coming to fruition. Okay, and uh, this is just another sign of America's uh, eminent destruction. You know, as we've said time and time again, that ultimately you're going to see these nations who are um, currently working with America turn on America. Okay, they're going to turn against America because of mostly her foreign policies and so on and so forth. Okay, but ultimately, when you look at it through the lens of, of biblical prophecy, it's the awakening to America's wicked ways. All right, being that they have drank in, uh, they are drunken of her, of her wine, of her fornication. Once you get drunk, you don't, you don't process things the right way. Okay, so it's, it's not until you you gain consciousness that's when you start to, you know, look at the things that you did, and you're like in your right mind, you're like, damn, I can't believe I did this and I said this and wow, now I'm losing my job because I'm getting fired, you know? And then you get angry, you know? Certain things that you, you might have done, you know, especially if somebody, you know, put you onto that drink, right? Got you all drunk and messed up, you know, you, you, you're going to be you gonna be pissed off if you find out what, what they ended up having you do after you, you, were, you were drunk, intoxicated, you know? Because you've, re you've, re you've regained consciousness and now you've seen it, like, damn, like, you had me saying this and doing this, like, bro, you know? So, um, this is all, you know, the reality, but let's read this real quick. It says, um, Biden wants G7 to give Russian central bank funds to Ukraine, but France resists, all right? So is that the first crack of, uh, the, the alliance between, uh, um, these NATO and, e and EU countries, right? Because they, they work together, right? NATO and EU complement each other, all right? In a, in a mutually, you know, reinforcing manner. Right. Um, they, they support each other in the uh, in so-called international peace and security uh, uh, um, operations. OK, you have NATO that does the military operations and the EU is more on the uh, civilian all right, operations. So they, they both work together. All right. So if, if if one of them has a crack or, you know, the countries that are in there don't see eye to eye, you're going to have a division. Ultimately, in these last days, it's going to end, end in nuclear missile, uh, nuclear war. Okay. It says President Biden wants the G7 countries to develop a plan to eventually have Russia's Russia's frozen foreign, uh, Russia's frozen sovereign assets handed over. Listen to this: handed over Ukraine in order to support the war effort. See, so Russia is at war, so-called war with Ukraine, is what they tell us, right? But yet, you want Biden is telling uh, the, the EU nations to give up Russia's assets, sovereign assets, okay, over to Ukraine to aid Ukraine in the war against Russia, <laughs> right? It's like it, this is what's gonna cause these countries to turn around and be like, "Yo, y'all, y'all motherfuckers is crazy," like you you don't stop. You know, now you're going to get us all messed up here because guess what? You in the West over there and we're here with Russia. We have to deal with Russia some way, somehow. A lot of the, the, the business deals that they make, you know, going back to the time of Trump and even to the time of Obama, they started to put these tariffs and all these different uh, restrictions on, on Russia's uh, economy. OK, which directly affects uh, some of the countries in Europe, if not all the countries in Europe, some way, somehow. OK. So if you're telling these countries to go ahead and commit such fraud, you know, openly, what do you think is going to be the end result of this? <laughs> you know, so it says uh, Bloomberg's Bloomberg's um, 
Bloomberg's source has uh, have also said the U.S. president has privately warned allies that Ukraine's collapse and a Russian victory would signify the international order is effectively destroyed for at least the next half century. Well, guess what? The whole entire system will be destroyed forever. Okay, according to biblical prophecy, there is no such thing as, you know, an international order being destroyed for about, you know, 50 years and then we come back. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. All right. <clears throat> it says G7 officials have been discussing options to use the $280 billion of immobilized Russian central bank assets, including using the money as collateral to raise debt or ensuing guarantees against the frozen funds, said the people who spoke on the condition of anim anonymity. According to the report, it says Biden reportedly wants a firm plan proposed by the time of the Italy G7 summit in June. The U.S. has been working behind the scenes to build consensus. All right, and that's what they always do. But guess what? The Lord is is um, exposing you. Okay, now everything you do is is, is, is is based on open fraud and people are waking up to it. People are like, yo, you can't do that. Now, you know, if you do this, if you push forward with this, there'll be a division and a separation of the of the countries, right? It says the, the U.K. and Canada are reportedly on board. Of course they are. Okay, but not Germany and France. Ah, see, and these are two power players. Okay, in the whole scheme, all right, of uh, of, um, of 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 NATO and EU, Germany and France are two power players, man. Okay, and if if they're not if they're not you know on board, okay, with this whole uh, um, you know this whole entire plan, then this is not gonna work. Okay, they need everyone on on the team of the NATO and the EU to be on board with this plan, and there is not, there's no way, right? How should I say what? Uh, uh, if a house be divided against itself, it shall not stand. Okay, so you you're having a, a a great division here. All right, it says earlier this week, France firmly voiced its rejection mm, of seizing the frozen Russian bank funds. Quote, we don't think this legal basis is sufficient, end quote. French finance minister Bruno Le Maire said after the G7 finance minister's meeting in Brazil on Wednesday. This, quote, this legal basis must be accepted not only by the European countries, not only by the G7 countries, but by all the member states of the world community, and I mean by all the member states of the G20. Hmm. He said, we should not add any kind of division among the G20 countries. You hear this? Who would have ever thought this was going to happen when they formed the, the alliance? Actually, let's go back and find out when they put together the G20. Right. When was the G20 summit established? 1999. All right. Let's see, which stands for a group of 20, which is an intergovernmental forum comprising of 19 sovereign countries, the European Union and the African Union, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a global, you know, um, union in a way, right? Uh, let's see, let's see. So basically the guy, the guy here, the finance, um, the French finance minister here, uh, he's making it very clear, abundantly clear, that if all these countries are not on the same page, then we can't move forward with this plan. And clearly, you have two major powers, Germany and France, objecting to America's proposal of seizing, illegally, mind you, uh, $280 billion of Russian sovereign assets, just so they can give that money to Ukraine. <laughs> it's like, the, what the hell? You know? And that's basically America is telling these other countries, get involved, you know, go ahead with the shit that we've been doing all the time that we've been getting away with. It's time for you guys to get involved in that. And these nations don't move like that. Yeah, they might be in, 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 in agreement with America, but they don't move entirely like Americans do. You go to or you go over there to, 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 to Europe, right? The kind of food that they eat is a little different. They might eat the same Kellogg's cereal. But the ingredients in the Kellogg cereal 
in Babylon compared to maybe the Netherlands is completely different, right? They might have corn flakes and it's just straight corn made out of flakes <laughs> or it's just flakes made out of corn, you know? But in America, you come in here, they got uh, sodium bicarbonate, you know, they got potassium, whatever, you know, they got all chlorine, this, chloride, this, you know, shit that you can't even pronounce. It's all in the goddamn cornflakes, bro. And then you got people getting sick. Americans are the most, um, they pay the most in health insurance, but yet medical mal 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 malpractice is the, is the number one uh, killer in the United States. <laughs> like your doctors are killing you. The people who are supposed to be there to help you, they're the ones killing you. They, they show you uh, commercials of, of, of drugs, right? I don't think any other country does shit like that. You know, they commercialize uh, 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 poisons, you know, and they make money off of that. Called Big Pharma. So this place is straight up corrupt and wicked. Okay. And these nations look at it and they'd be like, nah, we can't even do that to our own people. That's messed up. You know? So that's why America is another reason why America is going to be completely annihilated by the Heavenly Father, right? And he's turning these nations against America, as is written in the book of Revelation. We're going to get that. We're going to close it out with that. All right. So continuing, it says, um, it says the UK and Canada are reportedly on board, but not Germany or France. Uh, earlier this week, France firmly voiced its rejection of seizing the frozen Russian bank funds. It says, we don't think this legal basis is sufficient, French finance minister Bruno Le Maire said after the G7 fi uh, finance minister's meeting in Brazil on Wednesday. Quote, this legal basis, oh, we read this already, so like here. It says, opponents, including the, of course, Russia, Russian officials themselves, have highlighted that such an act would be outright and brazen theft. See? Russian minister, you see, but that's, this is what Americans do. This is what the, the, the so-called uh, officials of Babylon always do. And they do it to the people themselves. Okay. These central banks, all right. These, uh, uh, these, these schemes that they put out there, these illegal, uh, unconstitutional shit that they got going on established in America, whether it be the churches, right. That they, 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 they defraud the people, right. You know, uh, whether it be insurance companies, Right, whether it be these damn bureaus, right? These the, a lot of these agencies are there just to create fraud based on people's ignorance, man. Once the people wake up to this whole money system, that's when the collapse happens. Okay, that's when the collapse happens because the people are gonna be like, wait a minute. So how come this is all something we're now finding out about? Well, you were spending money putting out of thin air, and you were you were being charged interest on it, so you're in debt major debt off of what off of thin air yeah people are gonna be pissed about that you know what i'm saying nothing is back in this debt you mean to tell me that all this money that i'm working my ass off to get is backed is backed by nothing so i'm basically working for free shit why can't why can't anybody else print out money if the if the uh if the feds can print out money why can't anybody else do it why do they make it illegal because they they came up with the frns see so it's patented. They 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 have control over that. <laughs> it's a privately created thing. Okay? Just like the Federal Reserve is a privately owned bank who loans money to the US so-called government, which is owned by them. It's one half of their ownership. See? So they play they play tag back and forth. All right? All to control the people. Hence you have government. Government. Okay? So let's continue. Uh it says uh, it says Russian uh, finance minister Anton Silyanov has warned by, uh, in response, we have we have ways to respond. We have also frozen sufficient volumes of financial assets and investments of foreign investors in our securities, all of which transfers we carry out for the owners of our securities. So then guess who gets affected by all of this? When these countries go to war against each other, the people get affected by this, okay? The average American will get affected by all of this that's going on uh, geopolitically that they don't even know about, okay? It says Europe has has to agree to any, any U.S. push 
to freeze banks' funds, since the bulk of Russia's money, about $200 billion, $200 billion is being held by European banks. In such a scenario, Moscow or Moscow may consider the theft to be tantamount to an act of war. <laughs> now we can say that America is, is clearly pushing for that. That's 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 the next thing. They're pushing for war directly with with uh, with Russia, and that's not going to end well for America. All right, that's that that will mark the destruction, the complete uh, uh, ther thermonuclear destruction of America, Babylon the Great. Okay, you be sitting right here. Whatever state you may be at, and you're gonna hear them, 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 them sirens go off, and then they're gonna, you're gonna hear in 15 minutes, Russia is gonna be landing a missile around your head. All right, right on your head. Okay, it says, still, Treasury Secretary Jeanette Yellen was undeterred when she was in Brazil this week. She said, it is necessary and urgent for our co coalition to find a way to unlock the value of these Im immobilized assets. To support Ukraine's continued resistance and long-term reconstruction, and what do we call that? That's uh, um, that's double speak right there. Okay, that's political double speak right there. Okay, to support Ukraine's continued resistance and long-term reconstruction. See, that sounds nice. That sounds like something anyone who doesn't understand it would like to go along with it. Okay, but what she's basically saying is, so we can keep the war going, keep killing people, and keep and ultimately to make sure that we can draft you American insolent demons to send your ass over there too okay since you want to support every goddamn thing without really knowing what's going on this is what's coming you stand with ukraine well you really gonna stand in ukraine <laughs> okay it says um it says she said she had said from sao paulo which is brazil speaking to 20 finance ministers and central bank uh governors quote i believe there's a strong international law economic and moral case for moving forward what do you what do you people know about moral huh anything moral what, what do you niggas know about morality have you seen your country lately Jeanette Yellen have you have you turned around to look at these major inner cities in America lately have you seen the so-called president of the country lately do you know what the hell you talking about talking about moral case you niggas are the most immoral people on the face of the earth you're an Edomite you don't know what morality even stands for or what it means. You're not built like that. See, but this is how they get around. It's through lies, deception, and that's why they don't like the prophets because we highlight all these things that they say and we tell the people we interpret it the right way. Hey, this is what they really this is what they really say. This is what they really mean because if they push through with this, this is what's going to end up happening. And guess what? You're going to lose. Okay? So she's saying she's making a case that there's a strong international law, economic and moral case for moving forward by stealing an, another country's assets. That's a that's a strong moral case. <laughs> you devils, man. It says this would be a decisive response to Russia's unprecedented threat to global stability. Yeah, meanwhile, Russia is over there and Americans are sending their troops and building uh, um, um, garrisons around Russia's borders. But yet. Russia is a threat to global stability. Right. Right. Meanwhile, the dollar is the what they call the uh, global. What's the global currency? What's it called? I forget the name of it, but America's dollar is the is the global reserve currency. Right. But yet Russia is still the, the threat. Hmm. Interesting. America is the one who's pushing war. America is the one who's behind the war, pushing it with Ukraine, pushing it with Israel, right? Now they want to make war directly with Russia, but yet Russia is a threat. Mm, interesting. See, so you're being exposed, all right? These devils are being exposed because we are in the last days, okay? We're at the last, at the last uh, 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 hand or last stand of America, Babylon the Great. Okay, the Lord is about to take her out with a great spectacle, okay? And we're building up to it. You know, when you watch wrestling, and, um, you know, you have uh, a tag team and then all of a sudden one of them has a change of heart because he's starting to see that, yo, this guy been on some shit. Like, damn, bro, you didn't have to go that far. And then he's like, nah, you know, I can't I can't rock with that. And then they turn on each other and they fight. And then a bad guy who's always been bad. You know, you always have that the two the two friends. One of them is mad, wicked, and the other one kind of has some sense to him. 
And eventually, the one who has sense to him breaks away from the one who's stupid and wicked. And the one who's stupid and wicked looks like he's being betrayed. So he's trying to gaslight. And then the good guy is like, nah, fuck this. And they fight and then he whoops his ass. That's exactly what's about to happen to America. Okay, these nations who have some sense to them, the Lord is putting the spirit in their minds to what turn on America. It's starting to resist America's wishes, right? And what happens when you resist a whore's wishes? She starts turning violent, right? A spoiled brat, you know, she wants whatever she wants, but you, one time you put your foot down, all of a sudden she now she turned on you. You see? Now she's highlighting all your faults. Oh, this is your fault. You did this. You caused this. I'm like this because of you. I'm not like this because of you. You know? Everything is you. Right? Except for the good. Right? So Revelation 17, verse 16, it says, And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, these shall hate the whore, and shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. So you're starting to see the, the beginning stages of that. Okay? You have what? Uh, France and Germany. All right? You have France and Germany turning on America's wishes. Right? Uh, we're we not, we not going to follow up with that. You know, if all these nations ain't together, then we ain't doing it. Right? So they're, 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 they're hating the whore. And when you go into that word hate, all right, let's see real quick what it says here. All right, it says to, to hate, pursue with hatred, detest, right? Um, to detest, um, especially to persecute, right? So now they're questioning, they're going to start questioning America's motives, right? They're going to start, you know, going back back against America's um, foreign policies, you know? And some of them are even going to threaten to leave NATO and the EU altogether, you know, so look forward to that. It says they shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked. So a lot of them are starting to what well, expose America's uh, ways, you know, showing up to the world like, yo, these people, man, I don't think we're going to do business with them. Look what you guys have done. You did this the, the past decade. You did this to the same country. You did this to that country. You did this to this country. And look what's look what look what we're doing now. We're suffering because of your policies from decades ago. The wars you were doing in the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, 2020s. You've been going to war every single decade. Okay? Since 1948, I don't think there's been a decade that hasn't gone without any type of war. Whether it be civil war, whether it be an international war. Some way, somehow, since these devils established 1948 through the Balfour Declaration, there's been war after war after war after war, man. I don't know exactly how many, but it's, it's in the hundreds. <laughs> you know and that means millions of lives have been wiped out okay so it's time for America, America to, 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 to truly truly pay alright so they shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire okay and that's their therm that's the their thermonuclear missiles right there okay verse 17 for the most High hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the Most High shall be fulfilled. And that's why they all came together. You got NATO, you got EU, you got uh, the UN, right? They all came together, all right, to form this, this so-called powerful alliance. Okay, I believe uh, before EU, it was uh, known as the European uh, something commission, the ECC, European Commu something commission. I forget exactly what it, what it stands for. All right, but you had that. You had the uh, the Club of Rome, okay, and so many different treaties, right? A Treaty of Versailles, I think, uh, that also played a role. Let me see if I can look it up so real quick. One second here. The Treaty of Versailles. What's up? Let me see here. The Treaty of Versailles was signed by Germany and the Allied Nations of June 28, 1919, formally ending World War I. The terms of the treaty required that Germany pay financial reparations, disarm, lose territory, and give up all their all of their overseas colonies. And that's what they do because if they see that you're too powerful for, for one for one part, what they do is they force that country, whether it be via war or some form of propaganda 
to force the country to almost bring them down so they can be controlled right so world war one we know came down through you know the, the the jays behind the scenes because they had beef with germany you know and they involved um the u.s to help of course with the with the uk and then ultimately after that they said yo all right the deal is done what's up what's our reward give us the land 1948 let's get it you know so that's a different one right there but again um these these devils all came together right to form some form of powerful alliance okay some form of world uh order whatever you know whether it be uh militarily all right uh financially okay they all came together to form some type of in, uh international uh peace and security you know that's the main reason why they 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 formed that alliance okay so they gave they gave their kingdom unto the beast right until the words of the most high shall be fulfilled all right and how shall i say what that the gospel shall be preached throughout the whole entire earth and then the end shall come so this word of the most high is being preached throughout the whole entire world all right uh, a couple of days ago i saw a video uh the brother um yashalam from um the gms main camp all right um gms watchman is his page and uh they say out there over there in ghana the Jakes of Ghana are, are waking up to, to their true identity, all right? He says, yeah, we're, we're, we're from the, the, the 12 sons of Jacob. I say, there you go, all right? That means this word is going out there, all right? Because 50 years ago, you ain't hear Jake talking like that, you know? They'll call themselves Africans. Now they're saying they're the 12 tribes of Jacob. So there you go, all right? Verse 18, it says, And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth, all right? And that's America, Babylon the Great. Okay, and ultimately, she's about to be completely annihilated and destroyed all right, by thermonuclear fire. Okay. So anyway, I'm going to leave it off there. Low willing, you were edified and informed. In closing, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachakudash, the water Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and until next time, Shalom.